Okay, so let's go ahead right now and work a little bit on our terrain. The one thing, if you notice, even we have a very light material, our terrain with current atmosphere settings provide this darker look. So let's make, but it's still a little bit too light. So we'll go our terrain selected and let's go to landscape and maybe select some rock and plants. It will give it quite a bit darker contrasting look. Next, we'll go ahead, open, and we'll go to add ecosystem. And ecosystem, what I want to do is go to the plant. And I will use it from Lush collection. We'll go inside high grass. And I'll just select a few different um, high grass plants. So we have some variety there. Okay. Right now, if we click populate you notice we have it only very few of them so let's do a couple things increasing we'll increase our density and we'll go ahead we'll have a decay drop down to one percent so let's click preview you notice the grass just a bit too high so let's go and decrease our scaling the one thing is nice inside in a v8 small things if you notice it's more polished. For example, when you start working with the ecosystem, it's default by one, not 2.5 or other one settings. So it's a little bit make more sense now. And um, like little those additions inside V8 that make it, obviously the people was working with feedback with the creators and designers on that. Okay, here we have it our grass and let's look about right size. The one thing, um let's look again let's render one more time okay and you notice right here what we have it it's a grass and maybe you like some green but what i want i want to remove any coloring i want to have it very high contrasting look so we'll go and our tab right here was called materials and inside materials you notice we have an ecosystem materials layer and inside this eco materials layer we have it all the materials we using for our grass so let's double time click on this icon on the first we'll go to color alpha and overall color we'll go change this to the darker so we'll switch almost black okay click ok it's take time we'll go open another one and as someone you don't have it overall color see if you have it options you want with image you want to actually enable color color blend enable color mask and pop up this one Okay. On the Steam, when you don't have this option, it's map. So we'll using um, the option for the color correction. So we'll again adjust this one. We'll go right here. We'll go color blend. Click OK. So it's take a little bit time. Again, this is stamp. We'll go to edit color. Put it all the way down almost. Okay. Um, in this case, you can actually play a little bit more maybe with coloring and see which one will suit you better if you want just have a little bit color in you may just go a little bit not all the way to the black okay after apply color correction you can see we still have those plants kind of like but but the more darker so they have a higher contrast and the reason is why i want to have it more contrast on this plants more darker look it's because i want to actually place it the moon so i want to create the moon okay and we don't need move behind the island i just want to place it so it's easy for us to see in z index positioning so i want to take them and i want to place it just slightly like this we preview so we have a, this moon crossed right here and a um, couple of things of course one thing i need to let you know if you work with lights you notice one thing is incorrect here and lighting on a clouds is going from left side but crossed on the moon is going from the right side lighting so what you can do you can go ahead switch phase if you want to be more accurate 
So in that case, the lighting going all from this side, kind of similar. Or if you say, you know what, I don't care about physics, what I do care about how it's look, and you want to do opposite. So you can actually go and go ahead and just leave it that way. So in this case, you don't know what is source of lights coming or any other stuff. So it's up to you. But um, for this tutorial, let's just make contrast. Let's make lights coming from this, but the moon coming from that. So it's kind of weird, disturbing world where this moon look this way. We're done right here. Let's increase a little bit brightness. Okay, so it's set right here. Um, one thing, let's go now and add our tree. So what I'm going, open up one side the tree collection. Okay, let's take a second to open. Okay, and we'll just select, see which one we wanted. Probably this one. So I'll have it, it's add our tree on the middle. And just place right here, maybe increase a little bit in size. So, well, if you want it, you can change rotation. So we have it. Maybe to this point. Okay, let's go more to the ground. Okay, and let's preview. So here we have it, our tree. couple things on this tree you can modify it's if we go to edit object okay and inside here we go ahead and maybe just increase a little bit just slightly okay um let's go to check on a drop out so we'll make our tree look a little bit more interesting this way there you go so you can modify slightly so the bench doesn't go all the way up we have it a little bit more spread around and again, if you, at this point, let's go ahead, take it and um, rotate to see which one, if we can find better angle. Maybe something around this way. So let's have a nice overhang right here. Yeah, it's look about right. And next on the trees, what's happening? I don't like those colors. So what I'm going to do is um, edit and I'll actually make simple. So I want one material, color blend, go darker. Click OK on this. Right click and we'll go to copy material for this one. Next, we'll go to another one. We'll paste material over this one. So we'll have it all on a darker material. We'll just replace. The reason is why, because I don't want to have a different materials for this tree. All what I want to have it is like just only one darker color. It's all. So what I'm doing, I'm replacing for that uh, material all to same color to this dark. When we go replace now, you can see we have a high contrast. And doing this contrast is helping us to bring more uh, from the moonlight. Okay, we're done right here. Let's work a little bit on our water. So I'm going ahead, open material editor for the water. And you notice we have a two layers, foam and default water. So we don't go touch the foam, we work with default water. One thing we're we'll going, it's change overall color. So we'll make darker our water. Let's go inside the uh, transparency tab. 
and right here we'll just slightly decreasing just dump transparency to maybe e9 and we'll have it our mirror key pop up so we'll have it more depth as well we go on our reflections with angle and increase this to 56 i want to see good reflection from our island on a bumps here's a trick so i'm going to put it to zero so no bumps it will be very flat mirror at lake if you want it you can increase just slightly so we'll have it small waves this is probably better if you kind of start experimenting by yourself and see which way you like it better those water look okay so we'll done this one let's click ok and let's preview this image okay so right here we have it our island view with the tree you know what we will reposition maybe camera it's about right size i think camera set so we'll play a little bit more with settings cameras and trees okay this let's go ahead add some details what i'm going to do let's go to file load object and i'm going to um caustic and just select a simple small boat so we have our boat and this is kind of fisherman place pop it a bit higher let's drop down on the water okay Okay, so we'll take this boat. Let's rotate. So it's almost like somebody fishing right here on a boat. A um, couple things, maybe I should take it out on terrain and just shrink just slightly. Okay, let's take our boat. And where I'm positioning right now, you can see on the image, I want this boat close to the island, but I want them separated because we're using this higher, higher contrast type image. And you will notice, problem is if it will be too close, it will become part of the island. So I want to kind of move it away so it will be a little bit different, not like belong to the island. here and let's go put it some people the one thing as a people for distance it's one of the my favorite it's using meta peoples from the cheap waters they are very um, universal you can use them for many and it's just general shape so with low polygons they're just perfect so we'll take this person just slightly increase size and you notice how he have one arm extend it's like perfect for us so he can hold it the fishing pool one arm okay i'll place them right here and let's create fishing pool all what we do is just create cylinder let's just go Shrink and extend. So there's will be the fishing pool. Okay, this place right here. Here you go. Here's a fishing pool for this guy. Okay, here's preview. You can see slightly when we go with higher resolution, you can see fishing pool and he looked like uh, in a boat and fishing um let's add a couple friends for him maybe waiting for him on an island so we'll go ahead to our tree and you know what this is tree it's a little bit too big so i'm going just slightly make it smaller Maybe you know Don't drop that much. Okay, 
So let's leave it up. There you go. Okay, so let's go ahead, file, and we'll go add and load a few more people. Okay, here's one of them. And we'll just place one around here. And we can just copy, same guy, rotate. So we have a conversation. Um, let's add a fireplace to them. We'll go ahead, select, and creating um, light source. Quadrig, put it down. Set edit color. And we'll set something more to reddish fire kind of orange color and enable. Um, volumetric lights also let's go ahead edit and enable show smoke and dust click ok let's preview okay the light is way too bright so we'll go decreasing to maybe around 15 or maybe 10 well i want to just have a little point right here with kind of fire going maybe in this place small fireplace I think we're almost actually done. So next we go ahead, select our camera. Let's just adjust a little bit. So we have a little bit more on the water. I want to see the nice reflection of the clouds and the tree right here. Okay. As well, we'll go select this guy and a boat. And just maybe move them. Oops, actually, when I miss it, it is our fishing pole. Okay, and we'll just move a little bit closer right here. So we have a distinguishing line break. Okay, um, we're ready a little bit more work on our atmosphere. So let's go ahead, open atmosphere editor. Okay, so um, let's work a little bit more on the stars, maybe pop up stars a little bit more, but drop down on the brightness. Let's go to our sun, light is, yeah, well, about right here, we'll go to the clouds. Clouds is good on sky and fog, and here's where we, I want to increase quality. So we don't have this extra grain in our, um, light in our clouds so we have it clean nice okay as well now just slightly adjust maybe this one is a little bit too so a little bit more darker and a little bit more desaturated so we'll have a yeah, darker cloud darker sky look a bit well and here a little bit so yeah, we have a better kind of dusty fog right there going by the lake. Okay, I think I want to leave it everything the same. Let's click OK here. Okay, we'll go check on our moon. Okay, it's phase about right. And again, if you feel um, with the lighting, you can change just phase to another one side. So you'll have it lighting come from same point. But how I say this is weird land and on weird land lighting doesn't go from same place. Okay, we'll take our quadric light and just pop up slightly up so it's bring a bit better point. Okay. And now we're ready. So we'll set final. You can increase your settings if you want. And let's render see our final image. Okay, here is our final image. Um you can adjust a little bit more, maybe make island not that high, just slightly pop up out of the ground, or add additional details. But here is something to inspire you to create um, experimenting inside the view. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please remember to come visit us online at www.geekatplay.com.